today I'm going to be showing you how to install a safer floor vent option, especially if you have little kids like I do. I don't know about you guys, but my kids are always putting their fingers in the vents, the floor vents. Um, and this is the ones that I have. So this is the traditional type that comes with a lot of homes. So it's the cheapest option, but these are actually very sharp on the inside. For some reason, my kids were always interested in putting their fingers in there just to see how it worked and what was in there. And they're super sharp. One of my kids actually cut themselves until I realized, oh, I need to replace that. I didn't even think about it. So I like to install a safer option. So we'll replace it with this one with these right here, this type. And it even looks nicer too. And they're not that expensive. I got this one on Amazon for about $8, which is pretty cheap. If you go to Lowe's, they're about $20 a piece and I needed several for my home. So that wasn't gonna happen. So I went to Amazon and bought these um, and they have different styles. So if you wanna make it fancier, you can. There's a lot of different cool looking styles. So I am going to install this instead of the other one. And then I also have this other little trick that I do. This window screen, I use this. I just cut a little piece and put it underneath the vent. That actually will, it's kind of a trick that I figured out um, and that will actually catch any food or dirt or debris or anything that might fall in the vent and you can't retrieve it after it's fallen in the vent unless you take the whole thing off and you know suck out the the ducts and everything with a vacuum hose and who wants to do that this just really saves a lot of trouble and costs later on in the future stick with me if you're interested in how i do this and i will show you how the first thing i did was i just unscrewed you know these two screws right here i just forgot to film that guys but that's pretty self-explanatory take those two screws out put it to the side and then just kind of dry fit it here just make sure it's going to fit now i notice a little high spot here it doesn't go all the way flush you can't really see but it doesn't go all the way flush here when i take it out it's because there was some drywall that apparently when they were building this house, they just kind of dumped it before they put the floor vents in. They just kind of like got really lazy with the drywall. So I need to clean this part right here out. I'm just gonna use like a box knife or something. So I need to clean that out first to make it flush and then I'll be right back. So I'm just taking my box knife and I'm just kind of trying to get this out. It'd be better with like a putty knife or something like that, but I couldn't find mine. So I'm just gonna use my box knife and kind of, oh, there we go. Yay, you don't want it to fall down in the vent. Yay, got that. Okay, it looks pretty clear. Now I'm gonna try to put it in there, see if it fits. Oh, yay, fits perfectly. So um, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece of window screen and I'll show you how to do that. So I just cut a piece about this size over it. You don't want it, to be too big and hang out too much from the sides here because then it will show whenever you put this inside like this. You don't want it to be sticking out like this, it's just ugly. But you want enough to where it doesn't fall in the vent. So make sure you pull it out enough where it's not gonna fall in, but it also doesn't show. And I feel like this is pretty good. You kinda just wanna wrap it around the inside here like that and that should be good. And then you can always trim off the excess over here. It's better to have it a little bit longer than you think than too short because if it's too short and you're not sure, it will fall down on the inside. So just overhang it a little bit and then you can always cut it afterwards. On some models, this top piece here that attaches to the louver section um, will actually come off. You can just pop it off the top and then it would be easier to actually install this window screen right underneath that and then pop it over the top of the louver system. But mine, this one, I guess, because it's cheaper, doesn't do that. So that's why I'm putting it underneath the whole louver thing and all. But anyway, if you have the other model, you could do that and that might be a little bit easier for you. Now, this particular floor vent here, it kind of, like some of them will sit, like when they sit down in here, they're really tight and it's a really tight fit and you don't need a screw or anything to hold it in place. Some of my other ones, like different brands, were like that, and it was perfect because it just sat in really tight, and my kids can't pull it up when they get really curious. They can't just lift the whole thing off and 
have fun. But this one actually is pretty loose. I mean, you can see like my kids could just pull this right up and that would not be good. So what you could do, since these are actually metal, you could either buy plastic ones if you're not worried about people stepping over it and crushing it. You could buy plastic ones and just drill directly through the plastic here on either side, this side and over here. And even on these sides, if you want, but really two is good. You could just drill right through the plastic, but I really don't recommend plastic because it's just, you know, it's not durable, of course. And so if you have floor vents, if it's in a high traffic area and people are gonna be stepping over it and the possibility of it getting crushed and cracked is just not, worth it to me. I'd rather have metal ones and know that it's going to last. If it's not in a high traffic area, you, you know, you'd probably be fine with it, but you know, you just have to make that decision yourself. So anyway, if you have the metal ones and you still want to screw it down to keep it in place, what you could do is use the screws or other screws from the original vent here. These are the screws from the original vent and try to just go straight up and down with it. And that way, when you screw it in like this, the head part will go over onto the top of this floor vent and that way the head part will cover it and you don't have to angle it at all if that makes any sense so i'm going to try just to do that with this one because i don't really have any of the other ones and then see how that works out so it looks like it's working out i just screwed it on both sides all the way down as close as i could and it's not really tall where somebody's gonna stump their foot on it or anything but it's pretty well flush with the top of this vent and it's a small head screw so that actually worked out you just have to make sure you get screw as close to the vent here as you possibly can and then the other side looks pretty good too so i think it's gonna work out and i'm gonna try to pull this up i can't move it if i can't do it my kids can't either and you can even put more on the sides here if you want, but I think this will be good. Yeah, so I think it's gonna work. And then I'm just gonna take my box knife here, being careful not to actually cut my carpet, and I'm just gonna run this down. It doesn't take much, it's pretty flimsy, so just cut that excess off there. So yeah, there it is. I think it worked out really well. And like I said, you can cover these screws if you want with a piece of carpet or anything else you might think of. You know, if you just don't like the color, you can always paint it the same color as your carpet. Or I would just put a piece of carpet over it, like just little remnants. Just put a little piece over it, and that way it's cushiony and you can't tell. But yeah, and then you just open and close the vent. You can look down in there. You can see the window screen down in there. That way if your kids come by and they've got food in their hand and, you know, they're like, oh, yay, and just run across it and then they dump like... Obviously, if they dump liquids, you know, this is not going to catch the liquids, but if they dump food crumbs and stuff like that, it's going to get caught in this screen, the window screen, most of it anyway. And so then um, you can just unscrew this a little bit and pull the vent part up and then you can just clean it out. And you can always replace the window screen, you know, whenever you want to. Well, I hope that helped you guys out. Please give me a like if you really like this video. I usually do this kind of content, make a lot of DIY videos and other types of videos like that. If you really like this video, please give me a like. It really helps out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.